I'm Alan and welcome to Alan Vale. I'm talking about bracing the frame up when you're starting your shed. Um, it's very important that you uh, get the bracing done. You can see two diagonal straps there. And uh, when you screw them on, they can be very floppy. So you need to just watch out how you set that up and make sure that they're uh, nice and tight. Now, the way I found out to do it was whack a G-clamp on one end and use a cargo strap to pull them tight. And then I was able to get the screws in and get it nice and rigid both directions. So um, you can put your cargo strap on, stretch it up, uh, make sure that um, it's still all plumb and then you can put in some screws and you know you've got a good rigid structure. Now until you start getting some diagonal braces in, you have to have plenty of temporary braces in place so make sure you've got them done and uh, then it goes fairly, fairly straightforward after that. So uh, make sure that you get that bracing in place. You need to have uh, at least one brace on Every surface, um, so each side of the shed needs one brace and also the two sides of the roof section, you need to have a brace on those. Now you can see on the back of my shed here I've got um, two sets of diagonal braces and uh, on the side of the shed um, I've only got one. So uh, one, one brace each side of the shed. So there's two panels on the side of the shed and one brace. And that's quite sufficient for what you need to do. And just quickly looking up at the top, uh, if I can get up there. Yep, there it is. There's a diagonal brace on the roof. And so that was done. And uh, I'll just whack a little picture on to show how I used the ute. And I ran a, a strap across and I pulled that tight before the screws went in. Now, once those braces were in place, um, the shed was very rigid and uh, I could start put panelling on fairly safely, but uh, I left all the um, temporary bracing in place until I had a few panels on. 